today we are at the Oceanside Pier, which is about 50 miles north of San Diego. I'm going to talk a little bit about the history of the pier today. It's long been one of my favorite piers. I first fished it back in 1966 here. Probably the longest wooden pier on the west coast. Oceanside Pier uh, is, is about as old as the town of Oceanside. When they were building Oceanside in the 1880s, they knew they wanted a, a public pier because back in those days, public piers were necessary, uh, gave you a lot of recreation, uh, gave you a source for food, and so one of the first things they did was build a public pier, a wooden pier. Uh, unfortunately, over the years, uh, Many storms took out different piers. This is, I think, about the sixth uh, Oceanside Pier. Um, and this one, I believe, uh, 1984, we had the El Nino. Um, terrible conditions along the coast wiped out a lot of the piers. And that was the last time that this pier was actually totally rebuilt. Since then, it's had occasional uh, parts where they had to rebuild certain parts, but basically that's that's the last time this pier. So this dates back basically to the late mid 1980s, uh, and it's as you can see by the crowds, it's heavily used in season, off season, in the morning, in the afternoon, and even at night. It used to be I used to come out here till midnight, sometimes fishing, and it's sometimes it's as crowded at midnight as it was during the day. Uh, now they close it at 10, so it's not quite the same thing. But it's a great pier. Sees a lot of fish. Um, because of its length, it also sees different habitats. So when you're looking at this pier, Oceanside is a sandy shore pier, Southern California sandy shore pier, which means it's gonna have the Southern California sandy shore species of fish. And here I always talk about three different, maybe four different distinct areas. You have the inner shore surf area, which is the big area for croakers. And this pier gets a lot of big croakers. I mean, sometimes croakers exceeding 10 pounds. It sees a lot of bar uh, barge surf perch. Of course, it gets the yellowfin croaker. And you also get the small sharks and rays. That's the inside section. Then you go out mid-pier, and you get those same species, but now you get more halibut. And you start seeing more of the uh, small pelagics, maybe Pacific mackerel. You start to see more jack smelt. You start to see a few bass, and you start to see um, several different types of perch, walleye surf perch, black perch, uh, even pile perch down around the piling. So you see different species. You see more croakers, not only the bar, not only the spotfin croaker and yellowfin, but you also start to see white croaker uh, and what they call, most of the guys call them herring, but they're actually queenfish, and that's also a type of croaker. You start to see more shovel nose guitar fish. You'll see more with thorn backs that we call thrown backs. You see more leopard sharks. And you see things like uh, gray smoothhound sharks. Then you go out to the end, and that's the deepest water. That's usually the main area if you're really after like mackerel, uh, Pacific mackerel, what they call Spanish mackerel, which actually is a jack, a mackerel jack, or jack mackerel. Um, some years the bonita come in, not every year, but that's the area you usually to catch the bonita if they're in. And that's also the main area out there for the, the main shark fishermen, the guys that are going out trying to catch the big sharks. And they can be trying to catch thresher sharks. Uh, they would love to get a seven gill shark. They catch a lot of big bat rays, many of them exceeding 100 pounds. Occasionally a butterfly ray. They get uh, soup fin sharks, horn sharks, different variety of sharks. That's usually right at the end is the best area for that. 
In the summertime when the mackerel are running, you can go out there at night and the end will be covered by mackerel fishermen, getting two, three, four mackerel every cast. It's dark, they've got their um, colored glow lights that they attach to their line so they can see when the fish hits, the glow light goes under the water. Um, it can be a lot of fun, kind of hectic, but a lot of fun out there. Uh, also, these small salama that are, uh, they look like almost like a striped bass, only they're more colorful. That's a good area for those. And in the end, also sees quite a few straight down, if you fish straight down, sees quite a few bass, both barred, uh, barred sand bass and kelp bass. Fourth environment I should add is the pilings themselves. From about the mid pier section, most pilings are heavily covered by mussels. And if you fish down around the pilings using mussels, using um, saltwater worms, or even using ghost shrimp, you can get a lot of nice sized perch. You can catch an occasional opali. You can also get some nice sargo, and of course, also some bass in those areas. So each of this four areas of the pier offers a little bit different type of fish. Inshore, what's the best bait? Well, that you're getting fish on the bottom. So inshore, use ghost shrimp. Sea worms like blood worms or use uh, fresh mussel. Same thing in mid set. As you get toward the end, you're getting more fish that are not bottom fish. And so that's when you start you see more people using cut, uh, cut mackerel, using anchovies, and if they can get them uh, smelt for bait. Mid pier for the halibut, by far the best bait is live bait. Most of the guys will use live smelt. If they can't get that, maybe try to get a small walleye surf perch, or even sometimes the uh, real small sardines will be available. So for the halibut, the best bait by far is the live bait. So a big pier, long pier. I've been pier for a long, long time. It's a, high, it's a, it's a city trip. You can't think of Oceanside without the pier and it's great fishing, big crowds of people, it's always a fun place to go. Hey, we hope that you watch our pier fishing videos. We have two aims. One aim is to educate people how to be better anglers. And secondly, we hope you entertain you a little bit. Hope you enjoy these films, watch the films, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and keep watching.